Hello everybody and a warm welcome and warm it is too because whew, that's our little block box we just we just did and I've just fiddled around a little bit with the feet. Um, I'm going to make another one right now so why don't you join me. Let's get down here on the wheel head where the action is. I'll just zoom in the camera. Down there, I know how you like to have a bird's eye view. There it is. This is going to be a slightly different box, a uh, different technique. I have to say, I don't actually make a great deal of these. I'm mean, going to just do them occasionally. But I think I can do them enough to show you. So, lump of clay, it's about half a pound, this one. So, let's go. Now this particular box, as I say, it's different than the than the other. And that'll become obvious as I'm doing it. Hopefully so anyway. Again, this is Raku, Raku clay, it's actually a stoneware clay body. Great to colour in, you know. Oh, get that clay in, don't let it. Don't let it get out. Right at this stage, I'm now going to mop him out. I'm going to colour in now. So you see I'm getting the shape. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to needle needle the fella here because just a little bit rough on the top. And we're going to close him right in. That will become the top. want to bear some relationship between this little knob on the top and the side here as much as I can. Right, at this stage I'm going to get my throwing stick. I love my throwing stick. It's my best friend. Cleaning away the, hope you can see that, oh, the water's in the way here. I need to clear out my wheel. Never mind. Hopefully you can see that. 
Now using the side of my throwing stick I can refine the shape of the, the, the profile, the outside. How's that looking? Don't seem to have my mirror here today for some reason, so I'm going to have to get off the wheel and have a sideways squint and let the pot tell me what I think it needs. Never a bad idea. Let the let the pot speak to you rather than having too many preconceived ideas. Pot was telling me it just needs a little bit more of an undercut. A little bit more of an angle just under there for my own personal taste. Again, it's not a case always of what is right and wrong, it's just what. Well, I don't know. Let's not get too philosophical. I think there are some rights and wrongs actually, but. Okay, so. Now, hmm. what I'm going to do is I take my my needle now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cut in at this stage, I'm going to get this at about the right angle. I can see if you can see the angle of the cut I'm going to make. Okay, I've made the cut. It looks a bit of a ragged cut. That's because it's a groggy clay, and the the needle has kicked up on the on the grog. But I'll I'll sort that afterwards. But basically, I've got a a cut that's like that shape. If you know what I mean, not a flat cut, but a, a cut going in like that. Which what I'm hoping is that is going to help locate the lid in its position. That will later on be uh, finished on the foot and tidied up here around the cut area and then that should be that should be it. Let's just wind the tripod down a touch just to so you can see a little bit more the sideways angle on it. Um, Yeah, well, hopefully, hopefully that will. Just wanted to, I just wanted to show you a different, a different way of making a small cover block where you throw the whole thing in one and then just cut it to make the separation between the top and the bottom. Okay, Simon Leach here saying, keep practicing. See you later.